For this review we're back into Roadworks. And for that we have a Vergola Paver, and we also have a Harm Roller. And these models are in 1 to 35 scale because the real machines are for the Chinese market. Both of these replicas are made by Sunray's Classic Models. And let's begin by getting out the Vergola Paver. Inside the box is the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays and they are factory sealed. So it's a chance to get out the knife and cut the tape. And there we have the Vergola 1880 paver sitting in the tray. Out it comes with the giant hand crane doing its work. And there's also a bag containing a pointer. Without wasting any time at all, we get on with the harm roller. And it also comes in factory sealed trays. Inside the model is protected by soft paper. And there's no assembly to do on either of these models because they are... Complete out of the box. Beginning with the roller and the steering cylinders are modelled as is the exhaust. And there are plastic scrapers on both of the drums. The metal drums are very nice with a slightly ridged texture. There are Vietgen and Harm graphics and nice lights. And the detailing throughout is really nice including hydraulic hoses indentations in the casting and very nice work around the drums. The big water tanks which are front and rear are modelled in plastic and there are hydraulic hoses crossing the steering pivot point. The access steps are in plastic and they're nicely perforated and the cab detailing is very good with a beacon light and plastic mirrors and looking inside you can see that it's modelled very well. Looking underneath the Fergola and it's got a simple base plate and the track links are well detailed but they are in plastic. Other detailing includes plastic scrapers and the auger is metal. Moving to the front and the hopper sides are metal. As is the floor of the hopper. There are plastic non-functioning rollers at the front. And a nice touch is that the towing hitch has a usable hole. The grills on the engine covers are nicely formed. And the detailing around the screed is very nice. The support rods are in plastic but most of the rest of the screed is metal. And some of the other detailing is excellent, including the control console and other parts of the screed. The diamond plated texturing is really good. And all of the handrails are modelled in metal. Another nice touch is that there's a full bank of hydraulic hoses. Looking inside the operator's area and there's an excellently detailed control console. And a nice touch is the graphics on the seats. The big roof canopy is modelled in metal and it's nicely textured and there are sharp graphics and highlighted lights. Starting with the roller and it is super smooth. The model is quite heavy and that helps it to roll really nicely. The steering angle is decent, probably achieving around 45 degrees and that doesn't affect the smoothness of the rolling. The other neat feature is that the steering mechanism allows the drums to be offset front and rear. Another nice feature is that the cab has opening doors on both sides and they can be opened to a reasonably wide angle. That lets you get a good look inside and it also gives you access to another feature. The whole of the seat and control console rotates so the driver can see clearly front and rear. And there's still more because there are opening covers on each side. And these are really nicely implemented because they have two tiny circular magnets which hold the doors in a closed position. So overall the functionality of this harm roller is great. Moving on to the Vergola paver and the tracks are too stiff to roll on a smooth surface. But they roll easily by hand and would do so nicely on a rough surface. At the back there are moving scrapers. At the front the hopper sides close in nicely with a full range of movement. And a nice touch is the small articulating flap at the front. To transport the paver you can lower the canopy and that reduces the headroom. But the paver is configured with a wide screed. And because it can't be dismantled it wouldn't look right on a low loader. But the screed can be made wider. And to do that you just pull out each end. The screed can also be raised and lowered, but it's too heavy to stay in the up position. There is still plenty of other functionality on this model, and that includes an opening engine cover. And that lets you see the plastic engine underneath. 
There are also opening panels on the side, and that's not just one, but actually there are two because the small one also opens. And that gives you another peek inside the inner workings of the paver. The same functionality exists on the other side of the paver, so there are more bits and pieces to be seen. The only other thing that would have been nice is some colouring of the parts inside. But wait, there's more, we're still not done because the operator seats can swing out to the side for a better view. And the operator's console can be moved in front of one seat or the other, and it also rotates. <laughs> Models for the Vietcon group always seem to be to a high standard, and these two are no exception. The Harm Roller is a combination of very nice detailing and great functionality, and the same attributes are true for this Virgula paver. Both models are in the larger scale of 1 to 35, and they are high quality, impressive, and both are rated as excellent.